hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome please hit the subscribe button thank you so much so jennifer lopez was seen house hunting this week in beverly hills is there trouble in paradise because ben was not with her once again she was with a friend elaine i forgot her name why is she shopping for a house when she just purchased a house last may for 60 million dollars she and ben purchased that house so this month makes a year um there could be trouble in paradise because why are you shopping for a new house i don't know all i know is i did say in my jennifer lopez video months ago that ben is about to jump ship because that whole puffy thing the puffy scandal is being brought up and it doesn't look good for his image you know plus she's very clingy she's very needy and i don't know he just always seem miserable with her you ever see pictures of them it's like she's hanging on to him and he just look like oh my gosh what the hell did i get myself into again <laughs> she is obsessed with him obsessed you know, dating him helped her cross over, like really cross over, you know, like Hollywood and everything. She has a pattern of dating men in certain categories where she want to like, you know, enter. For an example, Diddy. She got with Diddy only because he was a pro he's a producer and she wanted to get into music, right? Her non-singing behind wanted to get into music. She used Puffy to get in the black community. That was easy. He got with him so he could produce her music. And he did. And people thought it was a joke. It's like, what is this? You know, she can't sing. And then she got with Ben. They were in a movie together called Chili. That movie bombed. Oh my goodness, it sucked. So that's how they got together. That's how they met, you know. And because he was with her, of course, that's going to put her up there you know so that's how she became very hollywood and so when ben left her because his mom didn't like her his mom did not like her so a day before the wedding he left her he left her it was bad it was so bad and she's been obsessed with him ever since he left her and then she got with mark anthony to get in the latin community and mark anthony was married but he left his wife for j-lo Okay, so she is she was a home wrecker. That's why she could never be happy. That's why she's gonna she goes from men to men and everybody cheats on her because that's what she did with those men. She got with Mark Anthony to get into the Latin community. She started putting songs out in Spanish, but her Spanish wasn't good at all. So she had to learn it. And yeah, so you see, she slept her way to the top. Definitely slept her way to the top. Even when she started, she was a dancer and she got her way in because she was sleeping with the Wayans brothers. Who exposed her? I believe Jamie Foxx exposed her. He was like, yeah, J-Lo, yeah, she did pass her around. She was sleeping with these guys, you know, the In Living Color that she was on, that show. Yeah, so they exposed that. I believe Jamie gave her the nickname J-Ho. I think that's how it started. Yeah, he called her J-Ho instead of J-Lo. I think that's how it started. <laughs> but um, yeah, so she definitely slept her way to the top. And let's not forget Tommy Mottola. She slept with him too. You know what? Maybe that's why uh, Mariah Carey can't stand J-Lo. Actually, no one likes J-Lo. She's insufferable. Do you know she has it where people cannot look at her when she walks in a room? She wants them to look the other way, look away. They cannot look her in the eyes. <laughs> and there were reports that when she is at a restaurant, she does not talk to the staff. Whoever she's with do the talking, but she does not talk to the staff and restaurants, any staff. So, and, oh yeah, and she doesn't believe in tipping. Yeah, she's terrible. And Ben, Bencito, is about to leave her. He wants to leave her. He's too miserable. Do you know there's a picture of him crying in a boat? The paparazzi caught him crying. In another picture, he was crying at a restaurant. I mean, listen, he probably, like, stopped drinking one day and said, oh, my gosh, 
this is too much, you know, and he has to do all that fake stuff in public with her all the time, constantly having to kiss her. It's just like, come on, come on, J-Lo, you're 55 years old. Cut it out. 55 and acting like a teenager. <laughs> she just loved being in love, she claims. I don't think she know what love is. And she's so insecure. I remember when she got with Alex Rodriguez. Now everyone knows he has a type. He like athletic women, like very athletic, like like arms cut up, abs, you know, looking manish kind of. <laughs> yeah, he likes white women that are very, very athletic, like, you know, muscular-ish. J-Lo started changing herself. She was lifting weights. She started looking very muscular, like manish. Like for what? Like he likes manish, muscular, athletic women. Why compete with that? Why try to change you? That relationship was all publicity. It was a fake relationship. At least it started off as a fake relationship, publicity. And I don't know, but he was enjoying it too. Two washed up people coming together. She was all over the blogs. I think she pays blogs because it made no sense why she was in the blogs like that everywhere she went with alex it was just like no she was paying the blogs okay because j-lo is not that interesting he's really not and he was cheating on her that alex guy when they came out and then they showed the young women he was cheating on j-lo with she was young she was blonde and she was athletic he dumped J-Lo, and then, of course, J-Lo can't handle the humiliation. Being the narcissist that she is, she put out a story Well, she paid the blogs, and then they spin the story around saying they got together, they got back together, they're working it out, but that never happened. And because of that, it messed up her the whole image of their little perfect love, they in love. That was BS, right? So she could never come back from that because of the cheating thing. So next thing you know, less than two weeks later, she was seen with Ben. So she wanted to break the internet because of all that humiliation she went through with Alex. So yeah, I believe she reached out to Ben Affleck and she's like, look, you washed up, you are drunk, you old now, okay? And you are dealing with these young women, okay? And it's not working out for you either. And I'm washed up. You know, let's just give it a go as Benifer. It's been 25 years since we broke up. So let's just break the internet by getting back together. That's what happened. They broke the internet. <laughs> Even though she broke the internet, but it also made her look foolish because people with eyes could see that she was trying to put a band-aid over what happened with Alex by getting back with Ben, by trying to distract people. It was foolish because Ben left J-Lo a day before their wedding. It was reported that during the bachelor party, he cheated on J-Lo, okay? And now you wanna reach out to this guy to bring back some publicity? She is so obsessed with Ben. I don't know what she's going to do when Ben leaves because he's leaving. He is leaving. All that Santeria that she be doing. And these men cannot stay. They don't stay around. Her first husband, Ohani, he was going to put out a book. And then in the book, he was talking about J-Lo and her Santeria. J-Lo practiced Santeria, which is a witchcraft, okay? Santeria is witchcraft. He said she be doing witchcraft. Their marriage lasted only a year. So they got married in 97, 1997, and they divorced in 1998. And this was her first husband. And that's that. You should not do love spells. They never work. From what I've read, it backfires always. Always backfires. And why would you want to be with someone where they're not there willingly? You had to put a spell on them to keep them with you. And then when they do come from off that, right, because they always break, right? The spell breaks, and then they start to hate you more than they ever did. If they didn't even hate you at first, they're going to hate you afterward. And if they hated you before, they're going to hate you a hundred times more. So why would you want that? J-Lo and her witchcraft. People be doing these things for money, for fame, and it's not worth it. It's really not. So all I know is Ben Affleck is tapping out. He wants out. He's done. He is done, done, done. I'll give them till July, mm, August, between there. They'll be done by then. 2024. Yes, I said it. <laughs> and I give Diddy. Diddy will be arrested June 15th. 
mm, July 15th, 2024. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> yes, he needs to. Okay, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Oh my gosh, you guys, while I was editing to upload this video, I just looked and saw that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck is getting a divorce. He moved out already. So it's like, oh my gosh, and I give them till freaking July. <laughs> so yeah, oh gosh. Yeah, so I don't need to make another video. So I don't know. But yeah, I had to edit the video so I could uh, add this in, okay? So anyhow, thank you for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.